I got my uh, Wuba clock in from uh, Goodwill. Unfortunately, the uh, packers who packed it, it uh, broke it before they uh, shipped it out. Uh, however, Goodwill is refunded me the full price that I paid for this clock, which is cool. So, um, but now I gotta fix it. So, uh, as with all my clocks, I have to take the hands off. And so, I'm unscrewing the hands here. Beautiful little hands. And uh, the clock isn't as big as what I thought it was going to be. But it has a moon dial on it. And so uh, the next step I need to do is get these chains out. So I have to disconnect the chain links. In order to do that, you grab a hold of a chain and uh, grab a hold of one of the links and then twist it and it will allow you to open up the links to uh, to open those up and that chain can come out the chains look to be in really good shape this other one, however, might give me a little bit of problem because it's way up in the uh, movement. So I'm going to have to uh, activate the uh, cuckoo. I'm sorry, the uh, gong to uh, to get that chain out. Probably have to put the hand back on to do that. Or maybe it's the time one I didn't really pay attention it's actually the the gong one but uh, for some reason it's not activating let me see if I can slide the movement down just a little bit just try and get that chain out And this is a, a part that is broken. These uh, screw into the into the wood to uh, hold the movement in place, and they broke off. Thanks, Goodwill. But thank you for uh, refunding me my full amount, and uh, hopefully I can fix this. going to have to get my eyes on so I can see. Uh, 
All right, got it. I think I broke the chain, but chain link, but at least I got it part way out. And I got it all the way out. I don't think the uh, clock was made to come out from the front, but I'm going to try to get it out of the front. Or there, it went out the back. And as you can see, the... Uh, if you can't see the uh, wood has broken from the pieces that hold the movement in place so I'm gonna have to uh, fix that but It is a Wuba. Uh, sorry about that. It is a Wuba clock. And the Wuba clocks are more sought after. They have uh, better wood than the uh, remakes of the Wuba Dutch clocks. So now it's time to uh, disassemble this movement. Like I said, it's got the uh, moon dial on it. It's a very beautiful movement. It says uh, John Warmink right there on the uh, on the dial. I don't know why it wasn't functioning. Why the cuckoo wasn't, I mean, the chimes wasn't functioning. That's what I'm trying to determine now. I think the best thing for me to do is take off the, uh, the dial and you do that by taking these little pins out. Put it in my parts clock, parts box. There's uh, these little pins on every post to take the, uh, the dial plate off. No. Base plate off, should I say? And once you got those four plates off, those four pins off, it comes right out. The uh, the face is extremely heavy. Um, at least a pound or maybe two. But the uh, moon dial works as it should. There's this uh, gear here that when rotated, it moves the moon dial. And see if you can see that or not. I don't have very good lighting where I'm uh, videoing at, uh, so let's try it this way. As you rotate this dial, it turns the moon face one tooth at a time. And 
the best way to set these things is wait until a full moon and when you got a full moon just set it to the full moon and then every so many days it's gonna turn it to where it has another full moon but the uh the plate is very beautiful and i want to see now if i can get this thing to function And I see the issue right now why it's not functioning. The, um, the snail is up too high. I have to take a closer look at it. Because the snail looks up too high to me. But I guess it isn't. So, uh... It might be out of time also. I'm going to activate the uh, great wheel for the time. The pendulum leader wire is swinging back and forth, which is a good thing. Now, if I can just get the uh, the chime side to work. There it goes. So now the chime side is working. So all this movement does, it needs to be taken apart because there's some grime and grease and stuff on it. And uh, um, um, cleaned and oiled and put back together. I don't see any pivot wear. That would uh, stop this clock from functioning. It looks like an eight day clock to me because there's a great wheel, a second wheel, a third wheel down here and the escape wheel so it's an eight day clock so let's get to uh, taking this thing apart in the next video i hope you all liking this video please subscribe to my youtube channel